to get our news kind of also second hand because well all of your clothes in Egypt is second hand and all your weapon in Egypt is second hand and even the bread you eat in Egypt is a gift from America so I have to agree with you that second hand is you and all the people you stand for not only the news In order to avoid talking about the topic, right away he starts with mockery. Bully. They are bully. Oh, uh, we get the hand, second hand. Look, you got the new second hand. Uh, but he mean that, in fact, that he get it first hand. How? Go. Because, you know, my, my wife's family, they live in Gaza. They so he have the news, not second hand. He have it first hand. Yeah, and your wife's family, they live in Gaza. If you have... Uh, cousins and uncles there um, and uh, their house also was bombed uh, why is that because they are from Hamas or supporting Hamas and by the way as long your cousins in Gaza did they tell you where is the babies the hostages I mean as long you are making mockery over the news coming from you have first-hand news you have the terrorists your cousins so did you call your cousin ask them hey where is the baby you kidnapped them so now he is a playing victim. Look how their houses is bombed. Our houses, the cousins, my cousins, they are bombed. Do you know that? Like, you know, we are victims. You know, we just killed the... We are the one who invade our neighbors and we destroy their houses and we burn their houses and we burn some of them even alive and we rape women and children in their houses and then we came back with a lot of babies and old women and uh, my cousins, their house is bombed. Is that fair? All of this to avoid, to admit that he and the one he support, they are a bunch of the criminals. So immediately before even he start about the topic, he play victim. He's an actor, what I can say. We haven't been able to communicate with them for the past. Why? They are not using the yoki toki of Hamas? How come? Hamas is calling Qatar every day. Why you don't tell your cousin to use the phone of Hamas so they can call the Prince of Qatar and he can forward the call to you? You are not able to talk to them for a few days? So what about those Israeli poor kids who they did not see their mommy for more than seven weeks? So, you know, your cousins in Gaza, you are not able to call them, you know, are they, are they babies? Or they are having a gray hair like you? Last three days communication are lost so uh, we don't know actually what is the uh how is like how are they doing but you know we're used to that i mean it's right. just like it's 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 very repetitive we're used to that we used to them being bombed every time and moving every time what every time you attack the israeli they bomb you we used to that do you see it so you see i mean look how scumbag they are they are the one who attack they are the one who go there. They are the one who stab. They are the one who put bombs in the bus stations. They are the one who kidnap girls and daughters. And then we use we used to be attacked. We used the Israelis attacking us, you know, for fun. You know, just just, just keep attacking us. We used for that. We used to, you know, what we can do. It's like what we can do. Those Israelis are evil, you know, they keep attacking us. We are just victims, we do nothing, you know, we are just people, we come up our hair, we want to go walk in the, in the sun, have a suntan, and, uh, you know, this is what we want in life, you know, that's it. You know, that's it. You used to be attacked. I want to ask you, scumbag, as long as you are from Egypt, and by the way, you are blonde, and I find it very funny that <laughs> you are an Egyptian, <laughs> Egyptian with the blue eyes. Anyway, <laughs> I wonder how this happened. But anyway, this is a different story. But listen, you used for that. When your country, Egypt, attack Israel, how many times Egypt attack Israel and how many times Israel attack Egypt? We will find that every war, it was you, bunch of scumbag, attacking Israel. Israel never attacked you. And each time you go in war with Israel, you got immunity and they step and they wipe the floor with you. And then what do you do? They attack us, you know. 
We used for this the kibatakinas, you know, those Israeli Jews, you know. So you wage war on them. You attack them. They give you a screwdriver in your anus, excuse me. And then you say the screwdriver is hurting. Can you imagine how ugly and disgusting this mockery is? And you will notice that this guy TV host, Morgan, is an idiot. Shouldn't you say to him, but isn't it you, Arab, who always, by the way, suppose he thinks he's an Arab, but he's a blonde with the blue eyes. But anyway, so isn't it you, potato Arabs, is the one who keep attacking Israel? Who is the one attacking who? Can you name for me the war when Israeli attack Egypt? Give me the name of it. Jordan, Syria, all the neighbors. It is you who, like, you gang like dogs, and you go all the way, you want to bite the Jews. And then the Jews beat the hell off you, and then you you play victim. We used to it, you know, those Jews, they keep killing us, you know. From one place to the other. Uh, you know, it's just like those Palestinians, they're very dramatic. Ah, Israel killing us. Yeah. Uh, but they never die. I mean, they all... Oh, okay, hold on. They never die? They never die. Are you talking about the Israeli or the Palestinians? Because as I know, you are there to complain about how many civilians they were killed. So are you being now supposedly sarcastic and making a mockery? Or you are talking about the Israeli, which you keep attacking, trying to kill, and they never die. Your faithy prophets come back, Muhammad, police be upon him, and IDF upon him now. He was trying to kill the Jews for the last 1400 years. They never been, they never die. You die. You die with your hate. Who is the one trying to kill everybody? Always come back. You know, they they are very difficult to Exactly like weed, man. This is the situation of Islam. There is no benefit from them. They are weed. They are just causing harm to the yard, to the garden. If we ask this guy, what is the benefit of him? What is exactly his job? Why do you live in Europe? As long as you Muslims, you are smart and you are civil and you believe in a human right and you have a human right and you want to school everybody about what is wrong, what is right. How come you could not establish what is right in your own land? Never. Which Islamic country have a human right? In Israel, you can go right now with a tomato at the prime minister. Can you do that in your country? Mr. Refugee? So if they brag about a human right, suddenly they claim that they are the one who defend the human right, but in their land, nobody have a human right. Why? Because people are like him. They are hypocrites. They give you a speech about a human right. The second you speak against the president, you and your family will disappear. Literally. You see, even the Israeli, even when they arrest one from the criminals of Hamas, they don't, you, you, you can go and visit, his family can visit him, they can see him, Red Cross can, can visit him in, in Egypt, in those countries. If, if the uh, secret police arrest you, you don't even have a name in their book. If the family go to check, can we see our son? And you say, which son? We don't have your son. We never heard of him. Go. He's not here. That said, they take your son, your son is gone. Continue. To kill very difficult people to kill. I, uh -huh. I know because I'm married to one. Yeah, I yeah. tried many times, couldn't kill her. Yeah, I tried to kill her many times, I could not kill her. Uh, you know, I understand your wife, she is from Gaza, and they have a very good reputation in Gaza. You know, I mean, your wife is a Palestinian, they are very good, uh, nice, uh, civil people. You know, we have to say. And uh, uh, they have a good reputation everywhere in the world, to the point nobody in Egypt, they want people from Gaza. Nobody from Emirat want anyone from so-called Palestine. No one in England, no one in Europe, no one in Syria, no one in Lebanon, no one in Libya, nobody in Tunisia, nobody in Algeria, nobody in Morocco, nobody in Emirat, nobody in Qatar, nobody in Bahrain, nobody want you. Why? Should we accept refugees from Gaza? Of course, 
people will say yes. Remember, we've taken over half a million refugees in just the last handful of years. In 1992, Denmark took in 300 refugees from Palestine. 64% of them have turned into criminals. What happened to the rest? Only six, four, 64% turned into criminals? Well, this is a very positive. I mean, do you see, guys, how racist those people? They are racist to the point they took half a million refugees. Racism. In Saudi Arabia, they have zero refugee. Qatar, they have zero refugee. But the racist West, England as an example, they took half a million only. In Denmark, they took a couple of hundreds of Palestinians only. 46% of them, they turned to be criminals. That is a good percentage. I mean, they are, they are good. Why you see only the positive part? I mean, the negative part. Why don't see the positive? Why you did not notice that there's 36% they are not in jail yet? Guys, do you see the racism? Only 64% are criminals. But what about the 36 who they are not, because they are underage, they are not considered criminal according to the law of Denmark. <laughs> So, you know, it's very hard to kill us. Very hard. Can you tell me why Hezbollah in Lebanon tried to kill you? Do you know, guys, what Hezbollah and the, and, and the Shia militant in Lebanon, they tried to do to the Palestinians in Lebanon? They surrounded their camp for more than a year, more than a year. And they allow not, neither food, neither water, neither gas, neither fuel, neither medicine, nothing to enter into the camp. Did any of you see the Muslims around the world striking, making noise? Nobody. The Israeli, after attacking them, they stop the internet. Oh, they don't stop the internet. You know, they stop uh, the water. Oh, how we can live without water? It's just for a few weeks. So you are taking your water from the Israeli, taking your fuel from the Israeli, taking your electricity from the Israeli, and you don't even pay for it. And then you kill their babies, and you kill their women, and you want to rape them, and you want to kill everybody, and you make speeches about we should kill everybody. And then, if a minister in the government of Israel, he says, maybe we should nuke them. Allahu Akbar, how disgusting. He just said he want to commit genocide. So you, and your speeches, you say you want to do genocide against them, but in their speeches, they cannot say the same. How come you make speeches saying you want to kill every Jew? And nobody get angry in the West, especially those left-minded, stupid people, mentally ill people. Huh? They make a mockery of a bloodshed. They play victims as if they are not the one who did, did the crimes. So you can cry for them. So if you are a Western who speak the language, this language you speak, you, you know, and you have a tattoo in your head and your hand and your ass and your vagina, and you have some rings here and tears and tears, you know, and you know, you are from Washington DC and you are Antifa and those uh, hippie, mippy, tippy, you know, God knows what they want from this earth, nobody knows. And then he will say, see, Look what they are doing to the Palestinians. They keep killing them. Did you see what this guy said? But if you go check the document, you will see that every single war Israel faced, it was those Muslims who started it. Every single one of them. Each one. 